called The Monster, which uh, won a, an Oscar. Um, and uh, the producer of that, a uh, fellow named Clark Peterson, had been encouraging me to direct for a long while. He knew I directed a lot of theater. He had read my writing. And he said, look, if, if uh, I find you money in Canada, can you find a Canadian story? And um, I had a lot of uh, personal experience, uh, unfortunately, to do with uh, cancer. And um, I wanted to find a story to do not so much with uh, the malady as to do with um, the survival of the malady, psychologically, emotionally, physically. And through a remarkable bit of serendipity, um, the first agent I spoke to said, there's a remarkable woman who lives here in Toronto um, who's uh, written her story down. Would you like to read it? And I said, look, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> can you just give me a <laughs> can you just give me a synopsis? So he gave me the synopsis. Um, uh, I said, I got it, I got it. Um, I went to Clark, I pitched the story. Uh, it turns out I had the story entirely wrong. Uh, Clark loved the story I pitched. So um, I then just had to go through this little dance where I had to sort of rewrite um, some, some parts and uh, Annie and I uh, collaborated, we had some ideas. Uh, I had some uh, predispositions myself as to what I wanted to write. Um, I wanted to incorporate the story, of, as Annie alluded to, of other women as well into her own. And I knew the story of Dr. King, which I thought was very important and gave a historical background. And I then went back to the producers and said, great, I got the story, now let's have the money. And they said, oh, we're really sorry the money's gone away. <laughs> so then I had to go raise the money. And I just began making phone calls. And um, 473 phone calls later, I had the money. <laughs>